Alright, welcome back, lads and lasses, to Life is Strange. We're gonna go straight into episode two. Let's waste no time. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. It's a pretty big tornado as well, and it's coming. It's coming fast. I can see the clouds in the sky change very rapidly throughout the first episode. How long can I just lay here? If I wasn't recording, I would totally sit here for 10 minutes dilly dallying on my phone, but my phone's there. Ah, fine. Where's my mouse? Hello? Oh. Wakey, wakey! Oh, we. What's that mean? Something good. Oh, something good. Researching a lot of time with late stuff, oh, aren't you? Life is strange, out of time. Space to get up. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. Oh, never mind. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Yeah, maybe. Alright, get up. We've got a game to play. We are chickadee top. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Why is there a big look right here? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Yeah, sure. Now Chloe's texting you. Happy days. Timetable. Mrs. Hoyda is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Okay. I'm assuming I don't need to mesmerize that. Uh, cell phone, mirror, bunch of other stuff, clickables. Make the bed, you lazy bitch. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Close enough. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. 
Whatever you say, Maxi. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Nothing always needs to be explained. Just be happy you've got the power. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Yeah, sure. Take your power seriously. Oh, oh, pictures, pictures. Uh, next. Okay, what have we got here? We have something caged. Something uh, washed up on shore. Dead fish, water, sand. Diner. Fire walk with me. Doggy bone. Number Dear A Gone in a lighthouse science lab and someone standing okay this is gonna be tricky. Concentrate those layer, okay so Diner Beach Ting Doggy Bone Caged Animal Right Your plant Water Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Has it now? It's just water. Who cares? I'm assuming every episode, if you don't water your plant, it slowly dies. So yeah. DVDs! Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Who knows? The most bizarre stories in the world could actually be true. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Uh-huh. Shower supplies. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Yeah, after I check more things, you know. Where'd the music go? Uh oh I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Come on, stick it on then. Put it on. Or not. Whatever. Suit yourself. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Camera, look, no. Uh, drawer, uh, no. Wall, books, art, photos, no. Cell phone, yes. Got a bail, master, perfect to you there. Uh, like I said, always there for you. I know emoji, uh, sad face. Meet me in the diner of 40. What? In 40. I'll be there. Do not be late. I will know it's time on your side. Oh, fuck's sake. Or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like. Like in my room, on the way, you're evil. 40 minutes or else. Threats, love them. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. You sure? Five years have passed. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Yeah, whatever you say. Courtney, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Whatever you say, my dudes. Hey, girl. Ow! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. <laughs> wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. No problem, I'm your lifesaver. Is that gonna happen every episode? I'm just gonna stop her from being bonk on the head. Wanna speak now? Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max, that's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly, I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? 
Oh, I don't know. Back to the Future, Looper, Grounding Day. Ah, uh, good old school. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Brooke, are you into Warren? Honestly, I think Warren's into me. Just sign was very obvious when he failed to give a hope. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Knocking on those bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. Everybody's seen it. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think... The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I th I'm sorry, I want to see what's on that screen. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros? Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. Was that the porn video? Hey! What's up? Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Good! Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Oh, good lord. Sh sure? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hooray, so... How's this look? Hmm... And uh, what about all this other crap? Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Makeup is pointless and just complete trash. I'm not sleeping on a laptop, could be bought it. Rollerblades! Rollerblades! Ah, oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Really? Jesus Christ, you're a ditz. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Cheerleading alpha? I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. I mean, why not? We're young, just have fun. This is both sad and pathetic. Yeah, I'm not reading it. Sorry for snooping. I don't know why you didn't give out to me for uncrunching one of your paper things from your bin. Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Yeah, well, who gives a shit? Hey, girls, what's up? Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Uh, 
Is these options or do I have to go through them all? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Brooke! Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Are Did you, you talk sure? to him yet? Uh, I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Those fake laughs are annoying me already. Okay, what's Taylor's room knock? Taylor. Anybody Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Okay, whatever. Board. <laughs> Do we care? No. Map. Two maps. All right, well, where is... Knocked again? Was this Stella's room? What did it say? Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Go away! People sleeping! Yeah, yeah, right. Shower Clearly time. not a morning person. So the showers are fixed then, yeah? Kate! You okay? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. No problem. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I wonder if that's a decision and consequence thing right there. If I don't do it, will she be pissed at me? Who knows? Alright, shower time. Okay, everybody cover your eyes. Don't be perverts. See you later. Okay, I was not expecting to be in the same shower as Max. I thought we would be outside the goddamn thing. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Don't you have makeup? We ran all the there? way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate or Max. Still a bitch, I see. <coughs> She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> You're such a cow. Is that an actual URL? A hottie daughter.
I'll assume rewinding will... Dude, how did you dry yourself? I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Goddamn right. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Can I do it again? Let me do it again. Come on. Ah, uh, why? Really? Another one? I'm good to flow. Thanks. Are you sure? Box two. Is that it? Looks like it. Out we go. <coughs> I highly doubt going back in time will do anything, right? Let's give it a shot! Alright. Did that do anything? No. Okay. Whatever. Even if I can stop one person. That didn't do jack shit. I was curious to know if I could go back in time and warn Kay about the bitches. Right, so what's my task now? I completely forget. Brooke, you're alone. Is there any more dialogue with you? Really, Max? What? Jeez, Christ, sorry for trying to communicate with you. Oh, you're reading the book. Yo. Let's talk later, Max. Oh, fine. Sorry for trying to be a social butterfly. Jeez. Case room. Okay, I got you covered. Don't worry. Look at me. I am Max Selfie. Whoop de fucking do. Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to be looking out for picture spots, aren't I? Mm, there is no picture spots here. All right, that's fine. Nothing in the dormitory. Uh, where's Kate's book? I want to be a good friend. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Don't tell me you lost it. We're supposed to be good friends. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to our list of problems. We're such good friends. Move! Be gone, foul soft drink. Yes, now go take your book. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Kate! I'm coming to sort you out immediately, because I'm such a good friend. I need to get dressed before I go there. Really? Really? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah, oh shit. Nice uh, radio with the strap curving its arse. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Yeah, sure. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Do you though? You seem to have a limited amount of time. Draw? Fuck yeah. Private number? Fuck no. Warning. Surveillance cam on. Sure, whatever. Kate. Hey, girl. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Ah, uh, Kate, don't let them get to you. Um, uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why? 
Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck, and, and... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Absolutely. Oh, uh, look for proof. This is going to make or break our friendship. Because what if there is no proof? What's the point? Go to the police, look for proof. Fuck it, report it. No matter what it is, report yes, this shit. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Was that a good decision or bad decision? I don't know. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Wait, hold up. Te text? Text? I didn't even read the sim. How do you know you got a text? There's fucking four of them. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. Sure. Like, I care. 
Hang on, wasn't there another message, Chloe? No? I thought that was four. Oh, there it is. Kate, you're right beside me. Uh, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to order the plant. Uh, yeah, no problem. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. Are you, are you literally texting me right now? Or was that earlier? No problem. That guy is an asshole. That was earlier. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Nathan. That's not very subtle. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm... It's uh. way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. I accidentally cut off some dialogue. It's way too emo in here. Yeah, yeah. Kate isn't that gloomy. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth... Should I change my answer or should I not? I don't know. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Ah, fuck it. Keep it the same. I'll die for you. Oh, Lord. Ouch. She left out amnation. Uh, no spirit devil could have prepared you for what you've done in the video today. Like, Jesus, the uh, image of God. Oh, fucking. Fuck the church. The church is trash. It's just as bad. Oh, case animal. It was the bunny rabbit. I almost missed that. Gotta explore everything. Where's my tab button? So that's that. This is the, this has to be the beach, right? This is outside. I swear, if I miss anything, I will be so not happy. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Back when she wasn't being dragged to the fucking dirt over some That's bullshit. a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate yeah. really has a doting father. Good. Okay. Don't do anything stupid, please. I will be by your side through all of this. Especially when you go and tell the cops and cause a whirlwind of a shift for us both. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? It's not her fault. Okay, so, erase. Can I draw on it? No? Okay, fine, be like that. Now. Yo! What's going on? Oh, there's more here. Max, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers, Texan. Yay, breakfast, no emojis. Yeah, it's great, but I want to make sure I don't miss any of these photos. This right here has me confused. It has to be an outside thing. I don't think it's an inside thing. Oh, I have to go look around. I don't want to miss anything. Hello? Fine, I won't disturb you. Hello? No Brooke here. No, Brooke is down there. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So is there anything in my room? I'll take one look around. Each room that I've been in and then I'll move on. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Because that would be absolutely shite. Do 
Don't want to miss anything, because, you know. Right, well, nothing in here. Leaving. Going back to the shower room, just in case as well. Because you never know, it might be a shower thing, a wet towel or something. Okay, let me in. Anything I need to look for in here out of order? Nope. Okay, looking around. Anything in here? Nope, anything here. Poster, tampons, nope. Sink, sink, and sink. Nothing here. Okay, moving on. Not gonna stay around too long. However, this thing looks suspicious on the door. Is this what I take a picture of? Nope, alright. Nothing in Kate's room. Nothing in this room, right? Don't mind me. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. I will slap you black and blue. Right, there's nothing in here. Right, so everything else is outside. That's all I need to know. I fucking hope so. I hope I didn't fuck anything up on the inside of this place. Hello, outside world! Itchy nose. Hey, bitch. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. <laughs> yeah, bossy best friend. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Are there different options? Hi, there? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Oh, that was so much better than the other conversation. Glad I could make a positive impact on you, kind of. Could you also do me a favor and be positive to Kate now and stop blurting out that goddamn video? Because, fuck me. Yo! Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Apparently a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh. That's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Oh yeah, what kind of sign? What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Nothing wrong with that, my dude. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? 
another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Take care, Samuel. Mm -hmm. Hi, birds. Mm -hmm. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yeah, because he feeds them. He knows he's safe to be around. Anything for me to take around with? Files. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but how did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Is that something for me to talk about? To, to Samuel? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? That's his stuff. I can't believe we're nosing in his stuff. Is, does he live in here? God damn. Axe! Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. Yeah, no shit. Use? Ew. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, picture! It's a fucking donut! Fuck yeah! Another photo! Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Fuck yeah! I got my second photo. It's a fucking donor. Now we have to look out for a dog bone and a fence. Don't know what the fuck this is all about. And Dinah or Chloe. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Haha! <laughs> I will miss. I'll assume those are birds. Hey, football. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Nope. Is that everything? Looks like everything. Alright, not everything. We have one more person to talk to. Or try to talk to. Max, check it out. Oh, Warren, hey. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Hell yeah, you better text me the info. Nothing else here? Talk to, talk to, took my photo. Yeah, uh, dog bomb, fire walk with me. What the fuck is this one? Well, it's a little bit later. Those birds are everywhere. Fire walk with me. I'm assuming it might be graffiti. Oh, hey, I want to check that thing out. I see it in the cutscene. Can I go up there? Or is that a completely invisible wall blocked off? Totem, I can go up here. Uh. 
Warren told me that totem is named Tobanga for a reason nobody knows. Yeah, sure, but I can't even go near her. God damn it, fine, whatever. Moving on. So disappointed. I want to go up to the totem. Catch you later, Warren, for our date. If Max is not too thick headed to realize that. <laughs> <laughs>